All right. So I don't have a video or any kind of thing to show with this, but you know, we, we've obviously been talking about uh, Diddy and him getting arrested and all the fallout that comes from that. We've even talked about the CEOs and all that stuff. I'm giving an L to certain black users on Twitter who seem to think that the logical next step is to go after Jay-Z and Beyonce. That's the next step. Go after Jay-Z and Beyonce. Fam, if y'all don't get the fuck out of here, like if they did anything wrong, they did something wrong and go get them. That's cool. I want bigger and better and hopefully not black. Can we can we focus on that, please? There, there's got to be a, t- a huge... Yeah, list. I mean, the problem is, is that those names are easily identifiable. But it doesn't get you upward. It doesn't work you vertical up the vehicle of this nastiness, right? Like, yeah. even if y'all get Jay-Z and Beyonce, you just got another Diddy. You just got another Diddy. What, what people continue to miss, they missed it on Epstein. They missed it on Weinstein. They missing it now on Diddy. They missed it on R. Kelly. These folks are not self-made. They are not self-propelled. They don't make a way for themselves in these industries. Facts. People are chosen to be as popular as they are in these in these industries. There, there, there is a part of it that is, you know, self talent and whatever work you apply to it. But by and large, if you become the biggest anything in in any one of these entertainment industries, somewhere along the way, somebody decided for you to be there. Yeah, okay, absolutely. And there, there, there's just no way that Diddy is is running Mad Max. A, 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 a post-apocalyptic world on everybody's ass in Hollywood, and none of his bosses knew about it. There's I'll, just I'll no way. You, I'll do you one better there. Diddy got his position at Bad Boy after working for Andre Harrell, who is Clive Davis. It's right there. It's right there. Like, come on, man. Like, like, like it, it, it is. It's very obvious. But when you look at the charges. They made this man up with everything, sex trafficking, prostitution, racketeering, conspiracy or uh, uh, extortion, uh, uh, um, everything except for Rico. Now, tell me how he has his hands drug trafficking as well. He's got his hands in all these different pots. He's making money. He's got different arms, different divisions of this organization. Mm -hmm. And they're all making money under the guise of this criminality. Now, how doesn't that smell a Rico to you? All, all of the Rico charges that they trying to throw in these rappers and Diddy doesn't get a Rico charge? That 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 says to me that you're not interested in prosecuting up. You're not interested in looking at how he got he became to be empowered to do this. This man been in, in a record business since he was like 21 years old. How did how did a 21 year old Force himself into a white man's industry and dominated with the type of criminality that he has for this long. You know what's crazy about that is there is a certain era of bad boy, a very long one. Now that I think about it, that it was basically just Diddy as an act on the on bad boy, and anybody else wasn't getting any real press. It was just him for like the longest. It would be Diddy, and then it'd be Diddy Dirty Money, and then that like that was an entire twenty years of Bad Boy. And yet, you want me to believe that that was a successful business label? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He was doing yeah, something man. else on the side to to maintain his lifestyle. Shout out to Shine. For finally saying the quiet part out loud. For just telling us plainly what we always speculated was happening. Or had happened. But, you know, now we heard it out of the horse's mouth. That Diddy, according to Shine, set this man up. Got the witnesses lined up against him. And basically made him take the charge. Right. This was not it wasn't even the more favorable story that some people will try to tell that, you know, he paid Shine a million dollars and 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 made sure that he was taken care of left for life. No, he just ruined this man's life and made him the fall guy. But in any case, man, that that, that stuff eventually comes back around some way, shape or form. And Diddy's bail has been denied twice now. So. 
Yeah, he's all oh, and he's also on um Uicide Watch. The same thing that Mr. Uh on a live on a live watch. On a live watch, yeah, yeah. Um same thing Epstein was on, you know, before he fell down, you know, sure. or whatever happened in, in a place where nothing is supposed to be able to kill you and then so but so watch out for that. Um Thoughts on Diddy and Shine? Well, no, we were talking about Shine because I know you got more to talk about with him, but we can talk about Shine. Uh, yeah, no, I I have the clip if you want to show the clip of Shine talking about it. I didn't know if you wanted to include that here. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. A eighteen-year-old kid. Okay, first of all, <laughs> before we get into the clip, Shine looking like Barack Obama, and then crazy, Trump, right? Like he's looking like presidential. All this very crazy. Very crazy. No, but I think he is a. I, I do think he he holds some he's, sort of office in, in Belize his, or Belize, Belize. That's where he is, Belize. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud and um, do what all of us want to do: be recognized for our talent and uh, take over the world. Uh, I was defending him, and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me and he contributed. He pretty much sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yes, I forgave, I moved on, but let us not pretend as if I Nasty was in picture. Miami for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I and that went a birthday with him once. I, went, I saw a birthday I, came. I went again to do a charity event for impoverished youth uh, in London. Um, That's so the sick part to me. Let's not they tried to like connect what him call to Diddy facts. even oh, after the fuck. Not like someone, fam, how much uh, more proof do we need? With and who, he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood. This is someone who destroyed my life and who I forgave and who I moved on and for the better interest of Belize, uh, because he was in a position at that time to give scholarships and to maybe invest. Um, I you know, Shine wasn't even with Diddy for that long. That long. Like, I feel like there was a much longer space of him. Uh, 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 I believe he he studied Judaism, so I think he I think he became Jewish at one point, and then you know the politician thing, like all that time is way longer than the time that he was with Diddy. With Diddy, like, everything that I remember after Diddy for him is much longer. And, than and, that and then, then again, let us not forget anything that the reporter was over there trying to add. Oh, I saw you saw you had a party, fam. Anything that resulted in our relationships or our business dealings after that moment came as a result of that moment. And I am blatantly telling you, this man ruined my life. Now, if you can't put two and two together. And realize that this is some sort of hush payment, or 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 keep being quiet, and I'll you know I'll put money here, I'll invest money there. Then then you know maybe you in the wrong profession, maybe you're in the wrong profession. But it's clear as day to me that somebody who owes you may just happen to do things for you. Somebody who has dirt on you may get a favor here and there. Yeah. Where did Sean pick up that accent from? I mean, after so long of living in a place, you just kind of developed that accent. He's from time. Belize, right? Uh, was he actually from there, or was he from New York and then went back down there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows, bro? And then, of course, Chillmonger with the Mr. Beast. Anyway, uh, but yeah, no, crazy story. <laughs> uh, but it's a it's a story of triumph for Sean. So shout out to him for explaining that thoroughly. Yeah. Yep, absolutely.